Hello, everyone. This is your Saturday evening KRQE.com webcast. Here's Ian Schwartz with a quick look at the forecast. Thanks, Tim. A lot of the snow has moved out of the region, some hanging on in the northern mountains. Winds are a lot better than they were today. We had 60-plus uh, mile-per-hour gusts in Las Vegas and areas east of the central mountain chain, even a 45-plus mile-per-hour gust here in Albuquerque. So expecting the wind to calm this evening. For Sunday, partly sunny skies, much cooler, about 10 degrees in some areas than we were today. But uh, once we get rid of one storm, another one's right on the heels of it, and that one's going to pull in as we get into Sunday night into Monday. So once again, Again, this one will impact the west and northwest. We'll expect rain and snow late Sunday into early Monday morning. A lot of areas that's switching over to snow. And then throughout the day, that storm system will cross the region. So we'll expect, expect the snow to spread to the northern mountains and then eventually to the northeast as we get into Monday night, Tuesday morning. Even the East Mountains possibly picking up the snow, some snow out of this thing. Here in Albuquerque, uh, looks to be a mainly rain event for us as we get into Monday and Tuesday, but we'll clear up quickly for the rest of the week. Tim? Thank you, Ian. Occupy Wall Street protesters in Santa Fe are denying any involvement in a series of vandalism attacks on Santa Fe banks. The Santa Fe, New Mexican reports one Bank of America and two Wells Fargo branches have been tagged with anti bank slogans over the last two weeks. Walls and a utility box at a retirement center, a temple, and a museum were also hit with similar graffiti. Protesters with the Occupy Santa Fe movement deny any organized action on their part, but they say it could be the work of an Occupy Wall Street sympathizer. Community activists are expected to meet with U.S. Justice Department officials Monday to discuss the long list of recent APD officer involved shootings here in Albuquerque. 20 people have been shot by Albuquerque police since last January. Of those, 14 of them were killed. Community activists and family members of some of the people killed have been calling for a federal investigation of APD. Latino and black activist groups say they will meet Monday evening with two Justice Department attorneys reviewing allegations of civil rights abuses. Earlier this year, Mayor R.J. Berry vetoed a city council resolution that requested a formal Justice Department review of the APD shootings, pointing to a separate independent review. APD and city officials are now in the process of implementing suggested changes like requiring more training for officers and changing hiring criteria. Justice Department officials have not said yet if a full-scale investigation is necessary. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Tim Maestas. Thanks for logging on.